issue at the heart of the Reformation was without doubt the question of justification. Now, when Luther was growing up, the understanding of justification that he was taught, that he had in his head, which really drove him to despair, was an understanding of justification inherited from Augustine, who had thought that Romans 5 verse 5 was the clearest single text to articulate justification, which says that God has poured his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit he's given us. So that understanding was that God pours his love by the Holy Spirit into my heart so that in my heart I am transformed to become more and more loving, more and more holy, more and more just if I'd. It's, a, it's an internal transformative process. And that's simply not what Romans 5.5 5 is actually about. But that understanding of justification that it's a transformative process meant that you could not be sure, have I been internally transformed enough to be worthy of heaven? And the answer should normally, the answer the Catholic Church said, should be no. So most of us, bar a few exceptions, will spend a good time in purgatory, having remaining sins purged from us. And what Luther saw as he turned to Romans and Romans chapter 1 was that justification is not an internal transformative process. It's a declaratory act of God. God declares by his word that a sinner, not on the basis of any internal transformation, but by his own promise, a sinner is righteous as he's clothed with the righteousness of Christ. And that meant that the sinner can be still a sinner in themselves and yet clothed with the righteousness of Christ and therefore confident before God and in the face of death. And that was really the dividing line, a transformative understanding of justification and a declarative understanding of justification. One which has works as a cause of justification that contribute to justification, one which has works as a consequence, an overflow of the transformation that happens when I find myself united with Christ and so clothed with his righteousness.